Hello everyone, and welcome to the guide on improvement of all things FPS Terra. Maybe I should work on the name a little bit. But in any case, in this guide, I'm going to hopefully show you everything I found on how to improve FPS in Terra. Every little thing I've found that I think EME allows. There's a couple of things I'm going to skip over later that uh, I don't know if it's approved or not, so we're not going to cover it in this video. As you can see with all these tabs, we have quite a few web pages to cover. A lot of them are on the official Terra website, and each one of these guides is something I'm going to be covering. Hopefully we'll get through all of them without too much trouble, and it'll improve your FPS in-game as, as it has improved mine, let's say. I've gone from pretty crappy performance originally on a fairly nice PC to just incredible performance. It wasn't great before, it was okay, it was nice, it worked, and now it's just, it's flawless all the time. So we'll see what we can get for you. The first thing we're going to go over in this FPS improvement guide for Terra is a program called Notepad++. Now what this is, is it's the same thing as the normal notepad you would have on your Windows machine, but this one is not only cleaner looking, but its find feature works a lot better than the original notepad. And for the changes we're going to do later on in this guide, it's going to be much easier to find things with this program. Now you can do what I did and use the installer. It installs just fine, perfectly easy. Or if you're more of a zip package type of person and you're familiar with those types of files, go ahead and download that. Simply typing in Notepad++ into Google will bring you to their download site, but I'll also include this link in the video description. What you're going to want to do is go to the C drive, Program Files, or wherever you installed Terra. For me, this is my path. Terra, Client, S1 Game, and Config. In here, you'll right-click on any one of these values, go to Open With, choose Default Program, and you'll want to find Notepad++. For me, I'm going to keep using it because it's just simply better. And that's it for the first part of what you'll need in order to complete this guide.